Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here on today's review for you. I'm just wasting away again. Lost Shaker of Salt is a 10% blonde ale aged in tequila barrels from Oddside Ales in Grand Haven, Michigan. I've been really happy with most of the beers that I've had that have been aged in tequila barrels, and interestingly enough, I just reviewed Founders Masagave last week, which is an Imperial Goza aged in, you guessed it, tequila barrels. Now, it seems like Founders and Oddside have this kind of TikTok relationship uh, sometimes, and I, I think I noticed it first last year with Founders Solid Gold and Oddside Ales beer me. Now, I have no clue if that means anything to anyone else, but I thought it was interesting regardless. The other thing that kind of caught my interest with this beer is that it's a blonde ale, and Oddside's Bean Flicker is also a blonde, so I'm, I'm kind of curious if this beer shares the same base as Bean Flicker. Again, don't know if anyone else cares, but I, I, I just thought it was kind of interesting. So, enough with all the rhetorical questions. Let's get this beer into a glass. Fun fact, Jimmy Buffett started his career as a country artist in 1970. So I'm going to grab my, my regular old Belgian glass here, my, my snifter, and we're going to take a look at the can here. It's a really cool can. I really like this label. I mentioned on, on my Instagram, which you can find the link below in the description, Oddside, it seems like with Oddside's newer labels are going in this more kind of modern direction. They're, the fonts are changing a little bit. Some of the artwork is staying the same, but it seems like the font is going away from this hand-lettered font into this new um, Oddside font. I don't know what, exactly which font this is, but the can itself has this really cool like sunset looking background. The top of the can is silver with these palm fronds on it, and it has a gradient of like a dark, darker sunset going into blue and then this red sand beach. And it has odd side with the three hop cones, and it says Lost Shaker of Salt, Imperial Blonde Ale aged in tequila barrels with lime and salt added. And then on the back here it says Lost Shaker of Salt, sweet and malty with bold notes of tequila barrel aging, nicely finished with citrus and salty goodness, 10% alcohol by volume. And then it has brewed and canned by Oddside Ales in Grand Haven, Michigan, oddsideales.com, and then their Facebook symbol, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I have to check out their YouTube. I don't know if I've seen it lately. I have looked at it before, though. And then this was manufactured or canned on April 9th, 2019. Today is May 11th, Saturday, May 11th, that I'm recording this video. I have a little bit of a cold, so hopefully that's not going to interfere too much with my being able to smell this and taste it. Uh, I haven't had too many problems today, so that's why I'm recording it. Usually I record on Sundays, if you care. So, let's get, put a nose on the can here. I'm smelling a bit of tequila, but it has a blonde ale scent too. The tequila is coming through pretty good. It's not like overpoweringly limey or, or you know, it's not an overpowering tequila. Again, my sniffer is a little off. Masagave, I picked up a massive lime and, te and tequila, like right out of the can. Let's go ahead and pour this and we'll get a better look at it. It's coming out a little darker than I would have thought out of the can. It's a little bit of a darker yellow. And then collecting the glass, it goes to more of an orange color. Um, again, orange is darker yellow, right? So I got about two fingers worth of head on it. Really nice compact bubbles, a little bit of a larger bubble from the poor exit. Um, I don't know exactly what the term for that is, but let's hold it up to the light. The head looks really nice, though. It's, it's kind of foamy, a little almost creamy looking um, head. And it, again, has really compact bubbles. It's sticking around really well. Let's hold it up to the light here. And again, it's a more of a kind of an orange, uh, dark yellow around the bottom of the bulb here. I usually reserve this for for um, for stouts that have a little bit darker color. But this has a bit of a dark yellow around the bottom, fades up into an orange. It's a little bit hazy. It's not transparent. I can see my fingers through, but with not a whole lot of detail. Let's get a better nose here on the glass and the head. I am surprised. I'll show it in overhead again. The head is really sticking around. It's not fading. It's not uh, It's not evaporating. It's not, it's not disappearing or dissipating quickly. Let's get a better nose out of the glass here. So I pick up a little bit more on the tequila out of the glass, out of this larger kind of, um, you know, the aromatics are being pushed through this glass. That's why the glass kind of goes up and out. So it pushes kind of the smell or the the aroma up in, up out of the glass. 
But again, I'm getting a little bit more of a tequila scent directly out of the glass. I wasn't getting so much out of the can, but I, I got a lot more out of the glass here. Actually, the more I kind of smell it, the more tequila characteristic I'm getting out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. Looking forward to it. Cheers. Wow. Heavy tequila. Heavy tequila bite on the tail end at the front. I get a little bit of that blonde uh, characteristics, a little bit of a kind of a sweeter taste up front. I get a big tequila taste on the tail end on the finish. There's not a lot of boozy bite to it. It's 10%, but you can't really taste a big 10% in there. The tequila is definitely in there very well. It's mixed in very well. This is like almost a vessel to bring you that tequila barrel aged taste. Um, again, big tequila taste, but I'm also getting this really ni nice oak characteristic, again, probably from the barrel. It's almost this, um, I mean, it's definitely an oaky kind of woodsy taste. It's like a drier kind of taste in there. The finish is actually kind of dry on this. Um, but again, the alcohol isn't really strong. It's not, doesn't have a real strong alcohol bite on the tail end. It has, definitely has a big tequila taste up front and a big tequila taste, a big tequila finish. But when I say alcohol bite, there's not a lot of a burning. Uh, again, 10% tequila. I was expecting to have kind of a big um, alcohol bite to it, a really harsh kind of burning, but that's not here at all. This says that it has lime and sea salt. I can definitely taste lime in there. Sea salt. I guess it is a bit salty. Let's get one more taste out of it. Yeah, again, up front, big tequila. When I say tequila, I almost kind of throw in the lime as an afterthought. It has a lot of lime taste in there as well. It's all in the forefront. You do start to get a little bit of that saltiness on the tail end along with a little bit more of the lime carries through. And then on the finish, again, it's got big tequila, a big tequila finish with a lot of oakiness that kind of just hangs out in your on your palate on the aftertaste. This is really good. Again, I think this is quite a bit different from Founders Masagave. And the reason I say that, this doesn't taste so much like a margarita. It tastes a little bit more like just a sipping tequila, like sipping tequila with lime in it with a little bit of salt, whereas masa agave tasted like straight up like a, um, like a margarita. I think that added agave and also that that was originally a goza kind of adds to that a little bit more. I think with Lost Shaker of Salt, the the you're getting the blonde doesn't carry through as much sourness as the Goza did, um, but it carries through a really good again a really good vessel for tequila flavor, lime, a little bit of that sea salt. I do get that, and a lot of oak barrel tequila barrel on the finish, and I like that about this. Um, if I had one critique, I would say maybe. And I know that, you know, it's aged in, in tequila barrels, so you're just going to get this out of it. But that oak is kind of really strong on the aftertaste. I would like that maybe cut a tiny bit, but overall, I like the taste. It's just, it kind of hangs in your mouth. The big aftertaste on this beer is the big oak finish. But overall, I like it. I think it's a good solid, a good solid blonde, especially if you like tequila. And you're getting everything they mentioned on the can. You're getting the the tequila flavor. You're getting the lime. You're getting the sea salt. And you're getting the sea salt a little bit maybe less than everything else. But you're getting that b big oak barrel finish. And I think that odd side, you know, again, they're they're following Masagave, which is probably going to be really hard to do. But I think that they're they're different, right? With the Masagave, you're getting more of that margarita flavor and on this you're getting more of that sipping tequila flavor and I think either way you can't go wrong if you're a tequila fan I would say to go after it if you're not a tequila fan though I would say that if I had my choice between the two I'd probably pick mas agave just because it's got a little bit sweeter with the agave added in there and again it's a little bit more of a margarita style but I think if you're a tequila fan and you, especially if you're a sipping tequila fan this one is definitely up your alley lost shaker salt by odd side is a definite tequila sippers 
beer. That would be a perfect tequila sippers beer. All right, friends, that has been Lost Shaker of Salt from Oddside Ales. Have you had this or do you have a favorite tequila barrel aged beer? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like Michigan beer, you might want to subscribe because I'm here talking about Michigan beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all free for viewers just like you. And I would hate for you to miss your next favorite because you weren't subscribed to the channel. Also, if you click that bell, you get notifications anytime I publish a video. And just a reminder, you can also win some Draft Therapy goodies by leaving a question for an upcoming Q&A video I'm gonna have on the Draft Therapy hotline at 224-DRAFT-20. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.